double phone call. Just so you know. Fang Dragonski in the holiest inner sanctum of the Shrine of Knowledge, dipping one of its hallowed books in magic shell and eating it. Just so you know. Whoa! It's so many options that we, it doesn't even fit on the screen. Turn Dragonski over to Rulu for punishment. Desecrate all of the other shrines equally so as to appear impartial. <laughs> Blame it on another high priest. Offer to hit Dragodinsky with the ruler of reverence. Claim that Dragodinsky needs to do this to express themselves in a creative way. Use an indulgence to get Rulu to go away. No, that's why there's one too many, because I can use an indulgence here. Um, I'm going to use an indulgence. Your support of our gods is appreciated, just so you know. No, I'm cool with Rulu right now, so I want to, like, see if I can build that up a little bit. Okay, inside track. How's the plan going? <gasps> it's market day! I don't have any money. I guess I have some money. It's not showing up, though, if I have money or not. Acts as trait vampire. Increases Rulu's rating by 25. Increases Starnet's rating, rating by 12. Oh, I have no idea how much money I have, though. Let's just... Oh, I got 243 left. Okay. And let's... Sure. We'll just spend all our money. This is the only thing we've used money for, so... Whatever. We'll just do it. Cool! Inside Track's cool with us now. We did a capitalism. Let's go use our capitalisms. Who wants to be a vampire? Mingzinger? Sure. Mingzinger, you'd be a you could be a vampire. And let's increase by 12. Cool. Now we're way on the up and ups with these guys. Like, look at this. High priests happening. Two in the positives. I think I can get this negative nine to be like two or three if we play our cards right. And let's see, do we have some strength training? <gasps> the Goatland Games. We have some strength training. Okay, this is cool. And Coxworth is back. Uh, Coxworth is a little low level for this. It would be really risky, but let's put Flame Clone out there. It's going good. We're just gonna keep, keep sailing. We've had so many like, like we've done really well with very little, and it's entirely because Flame Clone's badass. Because <laughs> they're just real good. Okay, let's do some speed bailing. Can't wait to see what this scales up to, like what kind of wild things you're gonna do by the end of this game. Dragoninsky, get in there, kid. Ooh, Coral Blanche. Hmm. I just wanna succeed this. So these guys are gonna be a little tougher. And if I disappoint uh, this dude, we're fine then. I was to say, Dragoninsky saw a pig on the farm on the way here. That's why she keeps glancing over her shoulder in hushed fear. <gasps> the pigs! <laughs> We're afraid of pigs! <laughs> we become more beautiful. Dragonski was a child. She fell into a pig pen and couldn't get over it. Get out for over six hours. This tragic experience instilled a deep disgust for all things muddy, smelly, and poor scene. The upside is that she keeps herself impeccably clean and well-groomed. The downside is that she's afraid of pigs. Something very bad could happen if she is ever faced with a real-life pig. She went the other way! Oh no! A bale that only a mother could love. Well, learned something new. Time for the goat carry. At least we finally learned something about Dragodinsky. Uh, gonna have to use Flam Colon or else the other person could break down. Oh, or we could use Inside Track. Do some beauty. Dragodinsky is suddenly more beautiful, so... Hmm. Tough, tough, tough. No, let's use Flam Colon. 
Let's go with Starnat. Our trusty Starnat will probably lose this one. That's fine. Oh, but we got it anyway. Cool. Things are going okay, because Flam Clone's the best. Flam Clone's like single-handedly just carrying this entire run. Ah, uh, Dragodinsky, let's finish the show. Oh, we've got Coach here though. Okay, let's beef up Flam Cullen with Coach. Oh, this is gonna go well. Even if we don't succeed, we'll still get a level, right? <laughs> but we did anyway, because Flam Cullen rules! Oh, that's good. What a game. Flam Cullen's just rolling. There we go. Skill knowledge. We were up to level one now. Only thing is, we've only got like one or two more days. So we're doing good, just not good enough. Right? We don't have we don't have someone who's just like absolutely stellar who could carry us through a level seven uh, fight club test. As you know, it's possible an imminent danger might cripple your organization. Imagine if such a thing were true. Ah. Expected to be easily avoided by having astronauts train their procedure next Tuesday. Just so you know. Thanks, Rulu. Procedure next Tuesday. Just so you know. Okay, so we gotta do a piloting procedure activity that day. I think. Also, isn't Tuesday that isn't that today or something? Oh, okay. Nope, it's fight day. Your astronauts are fortunate to have the chance to strike Vavilgari without political consequence. Strike for Mongoose and all of the five. Strike for Flaustria. This is what I recommend you cry as you watch coverage on the match on television. Oh, but aren't our guys tired? They're super freaking tired. I thought I had one more day. Ugh. Oh. Well. Let's see how it goes, I guess. This could be a horrible train wreck, which would be fine because we bet against ourselves. <laughs> oh my God, we bet against ourselves. <laughs> Nobody loses today. I definitely don't. Uh, all right. The entire nation has been on tenterhooks for what is frankly a battle of the very soul of Flaustria. We now join delightful correspondent Holly Hemlock, live in Metrovania. Life we are, Ignatius, as fearful of the Vladgard capital may be. I would call it a pay to brutal excess. Chilling, as one might expect. Some have called the event the ultimate struggle between good and evil. Others have called it the mania in Metrovania. One thing's for certain, it's an honor to be covering this event. Bask in the anticipation, viewers. To celebrate this occasion, we're joined by a special guest analyst, famed sportsman, Cedric Huggs. Hey, sportsman. For viewers unfamiliar with Cedric, he's the only Flaustrian to be the world's top-ranked lion hunter. Right, Ignatius, lion hunting, boxing, more, more than just say, for percent for me, I'm just surface similarities. They're actually very similar tactics. Infinitely fascinating. Vladigari Hadrian Jr. Nor Nordowski and <laughs> Livia Thorson have just arrived. All right, it's round one. Round one of the fight. Glory, it says up here, zero. Hmm. Uh, Flame Clone is going to have a 25% breakdown. We've got three rounds to go, it looks like. Let's put out our big guns first. Dragonski tries to use a terrible pickup line on Delbert Z. Flame Colon. Opening bell rings! <laughs> All right. You really screwed it up. Dragodinsky proclaims she is not racist against the Vladigar, but she can't help but be concerned about her safety in these political climbs. Dragodinsky, no! No, you've ruined everything. You had one shot. We're not even taking the first round. Moronic. We're gonna lose all of our... Look at how many tests there are. Uh... You want to try that again, Dragodinsky? 
Uh, okay. We're against the ropes right now. But there's hope. If she managed to avoid one, she could counter. The Vladigar crowd is making an eerie noise. Not at all like the polite cheers we Flaustrians know. Ransky looks dazed and staggered. She's in for a rough night. Surely this is Vladigar's or orgiastic sorcery at work, sapping Drog Drogodinsky's strength with their unholy frenzy. No! It's hard to watch. Her stress is 77. <laughs> She's gonna... There's too many rounds to get destroyed. Lamb Colin, help us. Lamb Colin's not even strong enough to help us. See, it's diff difficulty is 7. Every single round's gonna be 7. And Flam Colin's gonna be under for all of that. Just so you know, Director, you have the power to help Delbert Z. Flam Colin. Flam Colin were to utter a certain phrase, the snake would be rendered blind with rage. Just so you know. Deploy the insult. I'm gonna make you sleep with your eyes closed! Cold Nord. The cold Nordowski has flown into delirious fury! Flam Colin could take advantage, but oh, Igneous, I pray that he avoids the deadly blows. Flam Colin has told our network that he's gladdened to be back on Pomeranian soil. Okay, wow, that's a freebie. Flam Colin did it! <laughs> I can't believe that they actually did it! <laughs> Go DCF! DCF's the ruler! Let's kill a senile lion with a harpoon majestic beast, that. Well, we won one of the rounds. <laughs> uh, Flam Colin, just keep doing whatever it is you do. This match may come down to one final punch. Can Flam Colin land one blow on his si slippery flow? Slippery bow. Who can I pull this off? What should I do? Uh, oh, we can land a punch like landing a spaceship. Or trust in his athleticism. <gasps> Think of your punch like landing a spaceship. And land it right into his mouth. Or jaw thing. The spaceship is in my mind. Leave it to DZ! You got this, dude? Oh my god, he's actually doing it! <laughs> Michael is actually doing it! He's punching that punch like a strong master! The comeback! The comeback is real! Time for judging. Uh, so, the thing about this though, is that if we win, if we don't win, we get a lot of money. And I think we've put up a good fight. And if I throw Dragodinsky in there, I think they'll lose. Because <laughs> Dragodinsky is kind of a failure. Judges are conferring. It's time to show off how great we are at being judged. Who'll be the victor, Flaustria or Vladigar? Doesn't look too good for me. Maybe I can talk with the judges and try to change their opinion. <laughs> Flirt with the judges. Sure, talk with the judges with your zero charm. We've lost. We should be gracious about it. Still charm. Uh, sure, flirt with the judges. Or I could throw this right now. I could just destroy it. Hmm, this is tough. We've got two different checks that we could do, a beauty check or a charm check. We could win the beauty check and maybe take the whole thing. Or we could talk with the judges and actually throw the whole match. I'm gonna throw the match. I'm gonna throw the match and we're gonna see where this goes. I think we all know who really won. I'm too stressed for this. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Loudly not raises has now become snake blues. Whenever Drag Dragodinsky sees a snake, she acts irritable and standoffish. What's this? Dragodinsky's rolling on the floor with a spot of the troubles. She'll have to sit the rest of this one out. How do her odds of success go up to 63%? The judges have themselves decided to punch Fang Dragodinsky for her efforts. <laughs> Not a good sign. 
<laughs> Judges have made their decision. I wonder what that'll be. Welp. Vladigar has defeated Flaustria. Aye aye. What a great game. Those words with the judges just made things worse, if that was even possible. Look at that. Everyone splits. Lost it all. Let's try our hardest to forget tonight's events and carry on. After all, there's plenty to be proud of about Flaustria. Just not its space program. Why is the space program done for me, Ignatius? Why are we spending hard-earned money on it? These are questions the Academy will have to answer, and fast. The all-seeing eye will be watching as the story unfolds. Yeah, we lost our glory. That's fine. We've still got 203 glory, though. Mmm. Thank you for watching, and good night. You know... I think that might have ended out very well. And we lost, which is kind of cool. We spent 10 days prepping for this thing just to lose it spectacularly. Like, Flam Cullen did nothing wrong! <laughs> Flam Cullen did nothing wrong! And everything's, everything's great. Oh god, okay. It's time to discuss her performance over the last two weeks. Let the circle of judgment commence. You failed at your most important goal. Our defeat of the Vladgari brought shame to our nation. But hey, it's all cool. How about that weigh-in? Sizzling smiles haul corp in corpulent cash. Don't forget everything else those astronauts did over the last two weeks. They did so many beautiful things in that pretty fragile time. Oh hey, space boss, before I forget, may the market's blessing be upon you. Cha-ching. <gasps> <laughs> it just dropped a cool million on me. I can't exactly say what you did to make the market so happy. It's just mysterious like that. Wow. Just so you know, despite the pugilistic theatrics, space travel still the ultimate goal. One might be surprised that the director did not train astronauts in piloting or beauty. Just so you know. In summary, based on your overall performance, you would customarily be granted further funding, but monitored closely. However, we have reasons to revise our judgment. You neglected space training. <laughs> After penalizing you for these transgressions, we've arrived at a new judgment. You will remain as director of the Space Academy for a probationary period of one month. During this time, your astronauts will challenge Vladigar to a horse race on international television. Your continued employment and funding are contingent on the positive results of this horse race. Congratulations, Director. <laughs> after all of this, after everything we've been through, they say, Congratulations, Director. This judgment is final. Thus is the will of the five. gotten all the way to this and I still can't tell if we've won or lost. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, that, that's the way it goes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mission results. Grand total? 371. I got a space jockey ending. Cool. Well, that's awesome, actually. We ended up with uh, two of our priests in the plus, and the other three weren't that bad. You know, negative eight, negative nine, negative 25, like, that's not bad. Our weigh-in was good, our boxing match was bad, and everything else went great. And we've got a million bucks. 1.5 million dollars. You know, sometimes I think the reason Vladigar always seems to be ahead of us is we care so much about what they do. All anyone cares about is being better than the Vladigar or different than Vladigar. Why can't we just let them do what they do and be ourselves? I think we've been fighting Vladigar so long we've forgotten what Flaustria really stands for. We don't know what it means to be ourselves. I don't know, glory, honor, good form? I don't think it means anything, but maybe you can make it mean something. Thanks, Morning Dew. Alright, that's it. 
that's Astronaut the Best. Um, that is the demo of it at least, this small snapshot. You can obviously see that it goes really far out from there. We can do so many things from here. And uh, basically that's just like level one of the whole thing. So let me, uh, <laughs> this demo had an angle? My experience is sullied. Away with your solicitations. Uh, if we say away. Thanks for playing anyway. Just maybe spread the word, even if it's how angry you are. Uh, yeah, that's Ash, not the best. A game where making bad decisions is the best decision. <laughs> I'm really glad. Thank you, Universal Happy Maker, for putting this all together. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. This has been a blast to be able to play. And it really did feel like all of those games I talked about at the beginning. It, it felt like Princess Maker and Long Live the Queen. It definitely had the style of, like, that, that space style. Here's the Kickstarter for Astronaut the Best. Um, it is on its way. It's really on its way. And I really hope that they're able to make their $26,000 goal. Because uh, you saw me. I just, I played this for probably about two and a half hours. Just dropped it, done. And it was easily just, just fabulous and, and quick to play. And that's even without any of the, like, edges sawed off and, and scrubbed off. There's no, none of the polish that you'd get out of a real game, but it looked so good. It looked so polished. It looked so real. And so I want to see, uh, <coughs> I want to see people put down 15 bucks for a copy of the game. That's a pretty good price, actually. Um, you go farther down, 25 bucks, you get a digital art book and soundtrack. And I'm kind of tight down with this art book because uh, just... I want to see where all these characters came from. <laughs> it's really cool. We've got the whole crew here. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, I'm absolutely floored and surprised and happy and excited. And we got to see where this goes. We got to know more about where this goes. So thank you for watching. Again, if you want to see the full Let's Play it is on patreon.com backslash RDLP. And um, that is the longest rainy day quick play <laughs> there's ever going to be, hopefully. Uh, but it was so worth it. It was so awesome. There's like a million characters in this game, and they're all delightful and messed up and zany. And I uh, just, gosh, I'm, I don't know what else to say. I'm just so happy this is like a thing that exists, and that there's going to be more uh, like roguelike interactive fiction crossbreeds because we need more. The Princess Maker remake just came out. Princess Maker 2 again. Um, and so this is a very strong trend. This is very trendy right now to make a game like this. And so I hope it hits the beats that people want to see out of it. Demo's tight. Demo's super tight. And that was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys had fun watching it. Again, uh, thank you for joining us. And I'll see you next time for more Rainy Day Let's Play and more rad games like Astronaut the Best.